Welcome to this installation of Gobius, that we do in a first boat, a first 31.7. The first thing we do, is that we clean the tank, where the sensors are to be attached. The cleaning removes dirt among other things and contributes to a better tape grip for the sensors on the tank. In the package, you will find a 3M napkin used for wiping a tank. This tank has a plastic wrinkle and some bands. Because of that, you have to consider where to put the sensors. Obviously, you cannot put the sensor where the wrinkle is, so you may find a better place. The idea is to put one sensor in the center of the tank, one at three quarters of one hand and one on the quarter level. Let us start with the sensor that will be placed in the middle. This place looks fine, so we press firmly until the sensor is stuck. It is a 3M tape, of good quality, which is intended to grip on stainless steel, aluminum and plastics. If the tank is old and dirty, instead of the 3M tape, you can use a two-component glue. The next one will be placed here, at three quarters of the tank height. At last we have this one, that will be placed here, on the quarter level. If you have a tank that is irregular, perhaps papering at the bottom, or with the form of the hull, you can log on to our website, www dot gobius dot se and use our tank calculator at the website you can enter the dimensions of your tank and the tank calculator shows where to place the sensors now when we have the sensors in place we would want to connect everything and see that it is working first we attach the sensors to the control box Then we connect the cable from the panel. This panel will be placed in the headroom later on. We connect the power cord that gives power to Gobius. 12 or 24 volts work fine. As soon as Gobius is receiving power, it makes a first review of the system, and lights flash to show that the system is working well. Everything ends with the three top lights lit. This indicates that the installation has gone well and next step will be to calibrate the system. The calibration is done so Gobius learns about the properties of the tank. This is because different tanks may have different thicknesses. In version 2 of Gobius, which we show here, all the settings are made from this button. Press and hold the button until four lights turn on. When the four lights are turned on release the button. The calibration starts automatically. The calibration takes about 30 seconds. When calibrating a waste holding tank the tank have to be empty. When the calibration is done the blue light is on. This confirms that the tank is empty. It might be good to know that Gobius is running on 40 milliamperes, which is very little. Turning Gobius off which is made by pressing the button, puts it in sleeping mode. It is appropriate to have it in sleeping mode, when you leave the boat at night, and if you want to spare your battery, every time you turn Gobius on, it makes a new measuring. Let us say that we get back on the boat. We turn Gobius on. The lights flashes, and Gobius starts measuring the tank level. During the measurement, you can hear a faint buzzing sound. The sound lasts 1 seconds per sensor. These are all the sounds you will hear. This is how easy it is to install a Gobius on a waste holding tank. Today we have installed a Gobius on a waste holding tank in plastic on a Benito boat. The tank could just as well have been in stainless steel or aluminum. This is how you install the panel. The panel is thin and very easy to install. At the reverse side of the panel is a 3M tape. The owner of this boat thinks that we should mount it over here. We make a small hole and insert the wire through it. The panel will then look like this. The panel is waterproof and you can place the panel wherever you would like to. Gobius is also suitable for water and fuel tanks. What distinguishes the panel 
from the one used for the waste holding tank is that red light flashes when the tank is empty and with a blue light when the tank is full. There is another big important difference, which also applies to the fuel tank, that is calibration needs to be done when the tank is full. This is since it is easier for you to fill up water or fuel than to empty it. Please visit our webpage www.gobias.se